What's up you guys, it's your girl Overly and I am back with another video. As you can see from the thumbnail and the title in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I install balloons in a non-metal ceiling, which means I won't be using any magnets or my mag mover to install the balloons, I'll be using a tape. So if you like to see the type of tape I use and how I install these balloons, just stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like. Also comment down below and let me know the other methods you use for your ceiling balloon installs. But without further ado, let's just get straight into this video. Alright you guys, so even though the ceilings that I had to work with were super low, they were about 8.5 to 9 feet tall, I still had to use fishing line to attach my balloons to the ceiling. And the tape I'm going to be using to attach those is called gaffer tape. It is mostly used in like TV production to like hold wires and cords together. And people also use it around their house for like other things. So this is the type of tape I'm going to be using for my install. And... A main reason is because it leaves zero residue on whatever surface you use it on so my client venue owner don't have to worry about leaving stuff um, white residue in their ceiling because it will leave zero residue and I think that is the main reason why a lot of people use gaffer tape they also come in multiple colors like I think you can get it in whatever color you want all colors of the rainbow so as you can see from the video, I'm using black gaffer tape for this install. And gaffer tape, I realized that you can't really find them in stores. So I left the link for some that I found on Amazon down in the description box down below. But you can also find them from other online stores if you Google it. You'll definitely find some. But in stores, you'll have to buy them like in bulk if you do find them in stores. You'll have to buy them in bulk around like a dozen and that always equals to about 200 and something dollars but if you own like one or two then I will say just go on Amazon and purchase some
Alright you guys, so we've reached the end of the video. I hope this was very informative for a lot of you. I know it's been a struggle to find different ways to install ceiling balloons without magnets. So I hope this video come in handy for somebody. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Give this video a like if you haven't already and subscribe to the channel as well. And I will definitely catch you guys in my other tutorial. It's not a game, it's a red skin.